Hello everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program where I don't think that we have the Delta V to land on Tylo right now. We need to get a refueling mission here and that's going to take a very long time. We can use largely the same design, just shed everything but the fuel tanks to get it here and then get it docked up and get it fueled up in one flight. That's not that big of a deal, but it would take a long time to get it here. I think I'm going to do that off camera. And for the time being, we are going to hop over to our long range communication machine. Um, no, that's not the one. I want to go to our dual multi outpost. We're going to get another landing done here and we are going to get the Tylo landing done later after we get it refueled. Now, to be clear, there's 530 some more Delta V than it thinks that there is there because it's not counting the X-232 tank that's part of the module for whatever reason, but I still don't think we quite have enough. So a refuel is going to be necessary. We're going to go ahead and undock here though. And we are going to drop that extension, get ourselves a little bit of distance, extend our solar panels, that's a reaction wheel. Extend our solar panels. There we go. And let's find ourselves our inclination change for Vol. What's that going to be? 3.4 degrees. Okay. So we're going to add a maneuver here and change that to be... That was a little bit overshooting. About here. There we go. Now with just these two docked together, it's probably safe to physics warp, right? Yeah. Yeah. That looks reasonably safe. Cool. Not seeing any crack, any issues there. And let's just make our way on towards this. Fantastic. So we're going to head into Vol, and we'll get Tylo later on. We just need a little more Delta V. We burned too much correcting the orbit. Which, by the way, is in an orbit now. I, I don't think I mentioned that, but I put it in the description of the last video. I burned a little bit at... Uh, burned a little bit radial and then raise the periapsis with that. And then at the periapsis, burned retrograde and dropped the apoapsis down. So we're in roughly a 15 kilometer circular orbit. That might be a little on the low side, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. For the time being, we need to bring this on into Vol. So let's get this set up. Three, two, one, mark. Excellent. Not going to be that much of a burn, but we can physics warp it for a bit. Cool. Five, four, three, two, one, and this should be good enough. Absolutely, it should be. And we're just going to head on into Vol. What would it look like if we did a maneuver right around here? Uh, that timing isn't quite what we want, but this is pretty good. Fantastic. We can bring this periapsis in a little bit to be around maybe 50... Ooh, that was the wrong way. Ar around maybe 50 kilometers-ish. The timing isn't going to allow it, it looks like. Okay. We're going to have to adjust our timing here ever so slightly. Awkward. But that looks decent. So that's 500 kilometers there. And can we dial that in at all? A little bit. We're still going to need to change our timing a bit. Ah, there we go. That's more like it. So we'll bring that up to around 50 kilometers. Cool. That looks good. And we'll align for that burn. That's going to be about a 488 meter per second burn. We've got plenty of Delta V, so no concerns there. Okay, so we're aligning for the burn, and that'll be in about two days. So we'll go ahead and burn that, well, in about two days. We'll warp to it about now, though. Cool. Okay, and we're just going to continue to warp a few seconds here. 20 seconds to go. 10, and 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and mark. Excellent. While we're burning that, we can definitely physics warp. It's going to be about a three-minute burn. And we can retract these. There's no point in having them extended. 
No point in not having them extended either, but here we are. Excellent. So we've got about two minutes left on this burn. And we're going to have to nail this burn pretty precisely. So we'll come out of Physics Warp once we're about 30 seconds away from the end of the burn, most likely. That should be reasonably fine. Okay. So we're about 30 seconds from the end of the burn. I'm taking it down to about 10, but there we go. Cool. 20 meters per second to go here. 10 meters per second. Five. Okay, let's just bring this in a little bit more gently. Beautiful. That'll do. Okay, so at this periapsis, we're going to go ahead and circularize. That'll be, what, another 500-ish? Eh, thereabouts. Cool. So that'll be fine. We will align for that burn, of course. And then we're going to be going for largely just a horizontal speed kill and then a regular landing, I think. We've got so much Delta V here, and our thrust weight may actually be over one on the nuclear engine, but we'll see. We'll see what that ends up looking like. So we're just going to do a horizontal speed kill and then land it the old-fashioned way, I think. Not doing anything fancy with this landing. It doesn't need to be fancy. Um, okay, for a second there I was like, did we have that problem again where it changes our orbit when we enter warp? No, it appears that it's just a visual issue this time. So that's good. So here we come on in. And there we go. Cool. So we're going to be ready for this burn in about 50 seconds. Let's just warp forward a little bit further. 30 seconds. 20, 10, 3, 2, 1, mark. While we are doing this burn, we can go ahead and grab our science. So a temperature scan, and we can process these in the lab where possible. Mystery Goo Observation, Process in Lab, Gravity Scan, Process in Lab, Material Study, and Magnetometer Report. We probably can't actually do that. We'll just keep that. That'll do. Excellent. So realistically, we can come down basically now, can't we? We can completely get rid of this and just kill our horizontal speed here. Now, we are going to need to make our way down a little bit here. We want to sit at the horizon, of course, and our speed is a little bit off over this way. Having a bit of trouble steering this, but that's to be expected. We still have a lot of mass down here, right? So that's fine. For the moment, we want to be parked right here at the horizon. So we're now on an impact trajectory, but we're just killing our horizontal speed for the moment. We're approaching our apoapsis here, and we're going to need to keep adjusting this as we go over the, uh, as we go over the circle, or I guess the, the sphere of our uh, target body here. Hey, jewel rise. I like it. That's neat. Okay, we can grab our gravity scan, our temperature scan, and our atmospheric pressure scan. Cool. Keeping an eye on that horizontal speed, it's looking reasonably fine. And we're just trying to stay on this horizon. We're drifting off a little bit to the right here. Mm-hmm. Having a diff bit of difficulty holding that attitude, but it should be okay. So, our horizontal speed is dropping here, and I'm going to physics warp for the moment. 
400 meters per second. Man, this thing doesn't like to turn. Okay. So we've still got about 350 meters per second of horizontal speed here. 300. Two hundred. Fantastic. One fifty. Okay, let's just go ahead and head on over this direction. Fantastic. One point three five thrust to weight, so we'll be fine. Ninety meters per second horizontal speed. And I'm just going to park here for the moment. 60 meters per second horizontal. We're just dropping our vertical speed at this point. Fifty meters per second horizontal. Now down to 30 horizontal. Our vertical speed is decreasing, but not tremendously fast. Okay. Let's go ahead and go to retrograde now. Cool. We could technically land on this, but there's no way we would stand up correctly. <laughs> We're going to extend our landing legs. And that'll be fine. Looks like we've overshot our horizontal speed a little bit, but we're just going to bring this on into surface retrograde. That looks good. And that's beginning to drop. The time on the countdown here is decreasing, or rather increasing, which is what we want here. And we should be okay. We should be okay. So we're going to burn off this nuclear engine as much as we can anyway. We're 12 kilometers up right now and continuing to decelerate. We do need to decelerate relatively speedily eventually. We're about 49 seconds from impact here, but those aren't real seconds because we're decelerating. So we'll see what that ends up looking like. We may need to jettison it and switch over to this. We're about eight kilometers up right now. I think I will do that at 125. Cool. So that's out of here. Funnily enough, it's still burning. <laughs> and looks like we're good here. So we'll just bring this on down to about one second and commence burn. Cool. So let's get this deceleration underway. We're only about three kilometers up right now. So that's definitely noted. And we're not sitting right on the retrograde node, which I don't really care for. I'm just going to correct that a little bit. It's wanting to pull off over this way a little bit for some reason. I'm not sure why it's doing that, but whatever. 40 meters per second with 1.7 kilometers to go. We can actually cut our engines here briefly and coast. Two, one, and okay. Resuming the burn. Excellent. This looks like a good landing site. About 20 meters per second. And we're only a kilometer up. Okay. We need to ignore this from here. We're accelerating. Okay. Now we're decelerating. Good. So I'll just slowly decelerate. I don't like what's going on here. I'm turning off the gimbal on this. I feel like we're over gimbaled. I don't know. It's just like oscillating. I'm going to go on to stability assist. Why is it doing this? This is very strange. Can we... Can we go right under the retrograde marker, please? 
Regardless, I'm going to throttle down a little bit. We're 500 meters up. And I'm just going to let us drop here. I don't love the oscillation. That's for sure. Okay, I just wanted to check there. Very strange. Okay, let's go ahead and decelerate a bit. We're 300 meters up right now. And we'll just try to bring this in in a controlled manner. Can, can we not do that, please? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, let's just hold here. Hold here. No, what, what are you doing? What is this thing doing? I'm very confused right now. Okay. There we go. Can you just hold attitude, please? That's all I want from you is to hold attitude. So apparently this gimbal isn't the problem. Noted. Let's go ahead and decelerate here. Just hold your position. That's all I want. Just hold it. Okay, throttling down slightly. We're at three meters per second right now. Throttling back up. We're decelerating down. We definitely have some horizontal momentum here. I'll try to kill some of that. Okay. That horizontal momentum was tough. No doubt about that. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> uh, we're tipping over a little bit, but I think that's quasi-okay. Quasi-okay. Uh, we should be fine here. Yeah, this is okay. This is okay. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to have Tanlock EVA. And we're going to immediately detach here. That will cause some awkward tumbling. Fully expected. We're now going to push this out. Actually, we need to uh, hop back in quick. We're going to push this out to 90 degrees. There we go. Cool. Then we're going to hop back out here. I want to get all of these deployed. I don't know what was going on with the uh, oscillation there. That was very strange, but whatever. We'll just do that. We will detach here. And we'll detach over here as well. Cool. Uh, just go there. Okay. And now we're going to look to get all of these deployed. So we're going to take this over to 90 degrees. There we go. We're going to take this one to 90 degrees, which it already is. We're going to take this one to 90 degrees. And we're going to take this one. Oh, that, that traverse, that's the traverse rate. I don't want the traverse rate. Cool. So we've managed to stand this back up, right? Fantastic. <laughs> All according to plan. Everything was according to plan here. We'll retract these landing legs and sit on the engine since that seems to be more stable. And it looks good. Everything actually is according to plan here. Believe it or not. So we'll extend this radiator, and we should definitely begin research here. We don't have anything to deploy, because that didn't get duplicated for whatever reason. But we can set up our mining, which we will definitely do. Cool. So this will get deployed to zero degrees as well. Now this is going to get pushed up here, I believe. We're going to look to extend these out all the way. So I'm going to do this one next, then this one, and then this one. And we're going to use the legs here. We're not actually sliding, so it seems fine. Cool. Something like that. Um, and these aren't exactly correct, but it's fine. The reason I did that was because I didn't want to be sitting on the drills. So that'll be good. Oh, the magnetometer is clipping through our <laughs> clipping through our thermal thermal protector there. So let's go ahead and start these harvesters. Beautiful. 
Now, we're going to have a lack of power. We know this. This is fine. It looks like we don't need to have this fully extended. We're going to go down to like 0.7. I mean, we still don't need it fully extended. Down to like there. Okay, so like 0.4. Seems fine to me. Cool. Is this one fine too? Yeah, that's probably okay at 0.4. So this looks good. This is all set up now. So we only have three to go. Now, let's hop on back to the Space Center. We have a few minutes left in this episode, and that's fine. I want to talk a bit about our refueling mission to Tylo. So, how are we going to handle that? Well, obviously it's going to be pretty much the same way that we got there in the first place. Except we'll have less mass, because we're only going to need to bring the fuel and a grappling hook and, and a little bit of RCS if we want to have finer control over how we're, how we're moving, right? So that'll be fine. Let's get that designed real quick. So this is going to be the Tylo outpost that we're going to modify. And how are we going to modify it? Everything above here gets removed, right? So we get rid of all of this. This is all gone. That is wasted weight for this particular flight. We're going to put in a remote guidance unit. It will need a pretty beefy antenna. We could include an RA-100 in theory. Something like that. And that would become ultimately a... Uh, it would ultimately become a communication satellite. So we would need some form of power generation. We wouldn't need a lot of it. Something along the lines of... Actually, I am going to go Gigantors here. So a pair of Gigantors, like that. I do want to have some battery charge on here. So like a 4K. Just to be able to store battery charge longer. In theory, we don't want to bring this engine. Which would mean that we don't actually need... I did not mean to do that. We don't actually need the fuel ducts here. We're just trying to save as much weight as possible here, right? That's our goal. So the question is, what is our thrust to weight right now? 1.78. If we were to fill these tanks, what would that end up being? 1.61. That's not bad. And then stage, what stage is this? Uh, we would be looking at stage four. Stage four would have, a, our, we probably have some issues with our staging, don't we? Let's see here. Nuclear engine, and then those detach. Right, so stage four, that is the stage that we're looking at here. Kerbin. Why is stage four not showing up here? That's weird. Very weird indeed. Let's go ahead and toss in fuel ducts over here so that the game is a little bit more sure of what we're doing. <laughs> okay, this is now showing as zero meters per second. Bizarre. Why would that be zero meters per second? I guess stage three is what we're looking at, huh? Okay, well, let's go ahead and lift this thing. Uh, we're going to need a grappler on it. That would help. So let's go ahead and lift this thing into orbit here, and we'll see if it itself requires a refuel. So, Tylo Refueler. I'm guessing I'll have to refuel these, but we'll see. So we're going to go ahead and launch this, and let's get it up into orbit. We've got lots of thrust to weight. It should be plenty stable in theory. Emphasis on in theory. But there's a lot less weight here in the upper section. A lot less weight. So I'm hoping that that means that we have enough delta V in the nuclear engines to not have to refuel. I don't know how real that is. 
we would be looking at wanting somewhere around 8,000 DV. And this is still a lot of weight. Don't get me wrong. So we're probably going to need a refuel. But we'll see. So we're heading on up here. We're going to go ahead and start our gravity turn. Something along the lines of this. And we'll just go ahead and lock to prograde. Beautiful. Our SRBs are going to be detaching in about 50 seconds here. And assuming all goes according to plan, we should have the Tylo outpost refueled by next episode. The real question is, what is this Delta V going to look like? And that is what we're going to find out. Our heading is a little bit off, and I'd like to be a little bit more aggressive on this gravity turn, I feel like. So let's bring this on over. We've only got 15 seconds, though, before booster detachment. So we should definitely hold prograde for right now. We're getting pretty high up here. That's okay. Five, four, three, two, one, mark. Okay. Clean booster detachment. That's what we're looking for. And we're just going to head over to the horizon here. No, don't be on prograde. Be on stability assist right now, please. Thank you. We're just going to hang out over here for a bit, and this will do just fine. So we're going to stay here until we're at, like, 250. Seems okay. We're going to need a lot more horizontal speed, of course. I don't know why this isn't showing up correctly. That's very strange. Because this should have a lot of Delta V in it. It's showing zero meters per second of burn. But it definitely has a lot. <laughs> so this number is definitely inaccurate. I don't know what's going on with that one, but whatever. So let's go ahead and get this circularized. Something along the lines of this. I'm hoping that that burns out all of our oxidizer, but I doubt it. Okay, we'll line for that. That burn is going to be in a few seconds here. Let's go ahead and extend our solar panels. There we go. And then we're going to jettison these engines once we have burned out our oxidizer. I don't think... Well, actually, this does think that it's going to burn out all of this. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. We are really struggling to make our way over here, aren't we? Well, that's not shocking. All we've got is this tiny little reaction wheel in here. Now, I didn't bring in any RCS. It's going to be tedious to get this thing docked up, but I plan on doing that off camera. So that'll be fine. This thing's going to be really tedious to get docked up, actually. But that's completely okay. So let's just continue to warp here. We're going to burn off all of this. We'll keep these tanks for the time being. Oh, we should have started the burn. Okay, there we go. We're going to keep the tanks, but we're going to jettison the engines. That's the plan here. And then the tanks will get refueled and we'll head on out. But we'll see what exactly this is actually at for DV. It's not calculating this correctly, I can tell you that. It's definitely not calculating it correctly. Okay. So we're going to be ditching the engines here shortly. And we'll see what kind of Delta V we're at. Hopefully it updates. It did not. So I have no idea how much Delta V we have here. I'm going to quick save and see if it updates if we jettison the tanks. Okay, so 
I just needed that information. I'm now going to reload that quick save that we just made. That should be this one. And we now know that we need to refuel those tanks. So that will be fine. I'll get that done off camera. Next episode, we'll have the Tylo outpost fully refueled. That said, I just realized we don't need this much fuel. <laughs> this is going to be a little extra fuel, isn't it? It is. Each of these tanks are about half full. And these tanks are full on the Tylo outpost. So this is more fuel than we need. We can actually jettison some of it by transferring it over here when we ditch these tanks. And I think that's what I'm going to end up doing, most likely. At any rate, you can leave your offerings to the Engagement Gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Kentuin, James, Shadow Wolf, Mlohan80, Kentogen, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Spartan News, Unisil, Rogue Corvid, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the Join button down below the video, and as always, I will see you all next time.